Hello everyone, Crystal Vision here and welcome to another Crash Bandicoot video. The Insane Trilogy is very, very close now. I mean, it's only a couple months um, and we've got a little bit of information since the last video I did on it, but not, not enough things to make it like an individual video. So I've just got a few little bits of detail here. We've got this um, lovely bit of fan art for a magazine by Boo Runs that was found on the Crash Bandicoot subreddit. But without further ado, let's show you some new footage, kind of. This is Sunset Vista. This is a, I believe, a pre-order theme or a theme that we can get on the PlayStation 4. The first thing that you can notice now, there obviously is like a fade, sort of fade back, sort of black. But if you look at these and some of these new pictures here, um, you'll see that it looks like they've at least subtly um, fixed some of the sort of shading, lighting complaints that people has they sort of thought oh it's a bit too like it needs to be a bit like more um a bit more red and yellow orange and like you know i did i did see that point um i didn't personally didn't think think it was a massive problem but i can see to be honest i think this if it is like truly improved not just a placebo here i think it looks really nice um it's gonna be really fun to play sunset vista or well, when i say fun i mean could be could be completely nightmarish but i mean that that's the fun of it isn't it the next picture here, if you look in that top screen there, it appears to be the main menu of the Insane Trilogy. Now this could be a working thing, this could be like a working menu, um, working sort of work in progress sort of thing, but someone found this picture, this is someone from Vicarious Visions, that could be the menu, I'm guessing it's probably a work in progress, but you know, still might as well show it off, see you know what it is right now. Then we have some warp room stuff, which is very interesting. There's not been too much of this shown. Here's an older picture where we can see that there's like actually a spot for the relics. And then this is a newer picture, which seems to have it in a bit more detail, a bit bigger image. The one thing I'm not a big fan of is the fact that they've actually used the crash font for the level names at the top there. You can see hang eight. That's kind of a little bit, it kind of seems a little bit too like, I don't know, like a, you know, like visual interface thing as opposed to like meant to be this like sort of secret old ruin sort of thing it's just i don't know i mean that's a nitpick um obviously i don't have a massive problem with it. some people really do but i look it's fine but that's just something that i feel like they could make a little bit more authentic to the originals um and then i guess you know having all the things down the side instead that's probably because the relics would take up too much area so there's i have absolutely no issue with that that's perfectly fine this is a look at dr near cortex one of the first times we've actually seen him other than the opening cutscene. But now's not the time to get cocky. But now's not the time to get cocky. Sorry, I know that's loud. But now's not the time to get Thank cocky. You. So the basic idea here is to listen to your dialogue clip. Cocky. Find out where your swing is. So basically what they're doing is they're showing off like this like animation tips. This guy works for Vicarious Visions. So they're giving advice about like how to, you know, make it like it look like a good lip sync. And they're using Cortex as an example. So this is sort of our first proper sort of like in-game look. Um, I mean, it's uh, mostly it's like un not fully textured and everything like that. But it's very interesting. Uh, obviously, yeah, like when, when they're in that sort of program there, they're not like, they don't look perfect. But it's pretty cool. The next thing we have is the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy Idol Contest, as you're gonna see this little promo video for it. You know, when Crash, you know, isn't doing anything, you know, he'll sit, he'll think and stuff like that. This is what he does, you know, he moves around. Basically, there's a contest and Vicarious Visions are going to pick the best one. There's been a lot of great little selections um, in the past few weeks, actually, it's been a couple weeks now. And uh, yeah, as you see here, you get some prizes and all that kind of stuff, it's great. There you go, so it's actually, it's over by now. The, they're actually going to be reviewing everything now, so it should be fun. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what gets picked. Here's one they actually will be putting in the game as well. This is the old classic one from Crash 1. Remember this? Yeah, great stuff. Notice that they haven't done it like where it actually properly covers him, but I mean, again, another nitpick. Maybe they're working on that, but at the, at the same time, I'm not too bothered with it. It's still cool. I love the whole, like, I love the deepness of that purple deep purple you know what I mean and then the final thing I want to show off is this now the top image was from the original video gameplay of Insanity Beach the next thing was from PAX and what this shows is that Vicarious Visions 
are actually listening to the fans on what they want changed. You know, some of the nitpicks that we talk about, they actually do fix it. So you notice that they've made it darker uh, and more authentic to the original games. They've sort of got rid of that sort of green, sort of washed out look and made it a lot more detailed. And so I think that should be used to sort of quell your potential fears that, you know, oh, it's not going to look like the traditional crash. I think they honestly, a lot of the stuff they did is, you know, older footage and a lot of the newer stuff is better. Like, for example, this is a picture from PAX and already you can see that there's actually a difference in the color grading. Now, this could be edited, there is a chance, but I remember looking at footage and there are definitely some differences between the B-roll footage released and the actual people playing PAX. Again, could be television screen related stuff, but I think it looks really quite good. Um, I think it's I think it's exciting to see to see a company directly take you know criticism and sort of information and make it uh, you know make it for more, more what the fans want. Um, but at the same time, not just listening to everything that they say because you know some people make some pretty outlandish sort of criticisms. They're not even criticisms anymore. It's just complete nitpicking to the point of insanity. And then sorry, I've got this picture here as well. This was uh, also part of that trailer. This is another picture. This is you see Polar in the background. This will be from Barrett. So it's another cool image. It's a little bit low quality, but yeah. That's, uh, that's what we got. I mean, yeah, not too much news at the moment. I actually pre-ordered the game at EB Games a couple of days ago, so it's exciting. It's actually $70 in Australia, so it's a bit expensive, but, you know, I guess the exchange rate's kind of screwed around right now. But anyway, guys, that concludes this short little video about Crash Bandicoot. Look forward to checking my channel for more updates, which I'm sure we'll get some Crash 3 stuff in the coming weeks. It's very exciting. Uh, it's all happening. It's all actually happening. Very, very, very cool. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching as usual, and I'll see you later. They are no name. They no memory. We name. Mm. Mm -hmm. Why?